Hello and welcome to another Redstone game tutorial. This is my version of a Plinko game. Do you guys know Plinko? Here comes tip number one. Well, with this Minecraft version, the way we play this is we have our fox up there and when we release him, he is going to come down the game board and fall into one of these slots. And this particular game has a bit of a different betting system, which I really like. Uh, what we can do is we can basically place any amount of bet that we want in any of these chests. And actually, we can bet in multiple spots if we want. So if I think he might fall down here, uh, let me just put some diamonds in like that. And then mm, if I think he might fall down here, I can put some diamonds over here if I want. And the win, the reward is double whatever the winning slot is. So I would be expecting to get 10 diamonds back if he fell in either that slot or that slot. So let us release the fox. Release the fox and see what he does. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Ding! Do I win? And I will. I at least won my money back. <laughs> so that's how the game is played. Now, even though I say you can place as much diamonds in here as you want, there is a technical limit of 63 diamonds because of how much the hoppers can hold. But more importantly, because of the length of the redstone signal with items in a hopper, your max safe bat is 23 diamonds. If you go over that, you might not get your money back. So just be aware, your safe bet is 23 diamonds. So yeah, I guess let's just get into the tutorial. So what you will need are roughly seven and a half stacks of building blocks. And these will be to match whatever theme you have going on for your build for the backboard and the floor and etc. Uh, what you will need are these blocks roughly for the number of blocks for the circuits. Um, then you'll want some, I have glowstone, but on some of these you can use torches, uh, about five spots I think you can use torches. Uh, magenta glazed terracotta because they make the arrows, 14 slime blocks, uh, 25 repeaters, 9 comparators, uh, stack and 47 of redstone dust, 2 redstone blocks, 40 torches, 14 sticky pistons, 2 stacks and 4 observers. 10 droppers, 53 hoppers, and then these to go inside the hoppers, uh, 4 trapped chests, and 8 tripwire hooks and 4 string, Some uh, 3 redstone lamps, 6 note blocks, and then 4 gold and a pumpkin. What's the other thing sitting on? Oh, you know what I need? Packed ice. So it's gonna be four, uh, four blocks of gold, a pumpkin, and a piece of packed ice um, for that. Uh, 20 trap doors, they don't have to be birch. Four stairs, four walls, four soul sand, a couple of buttons, some signs, and then a box or a chest, basically for the output, and then some diamonds to start off with. So this machine, is 17 blocks long it will be 10 blocks from the bottom of it up to floor level and then it will be 10 blocks above the floor level and it will also be 15 blocks wide and so I've begun by laying out the base over here I have four rows of blocks each of these are nine blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we come down and out three. 
and then just connect up the end like this. And then on top of these, we'll just put some redstone dust like this. And I guess I should say at this point, um, whatever we're, we do to one line, we will be doing to the other three. So we'll just be repeating ourselves through a lot of this. From here, we'll come up and over, and actually down, <laughs> and then three more like that. So you have this, this sort of shape. And we'll do that to the rest of these. Okay, and we are making a vertical T flip-flop. So on, on these, put some redstone torches. Down here on, on the back, add some redstone torches here. And then up here on top, two bits of redstone dust coming across. And then grab some repeaters, and then put these on a two tick delay. Two tick delay, two tick delay, two tick delay. Okay, that's pretty good for starting. Now grab a sticky piston. And on this spot, put a piston so it faces up. Piston so it faces up. Just like that. Now over here, on the right hand side, put some temporary, temporary blocks. Um, there and then here and then facing those uh, you'll want to put a line of hoppers coming across and you can use the same trick I learned from the comment section in my last video of holding your jump button and crouch button at the same time and then you can hover and place blocks like this really nice trick um, now, above all these hoppers, put a line of blocks. And this is this is mostly so that you keep items from falling into your hoppers. Uh, that's the main reason. And then above each sticky piston, have a hopper facing into those blocks there. Just like that. And then come up over and back again and again these are temporary blocks take those out and once again run a line of hoppers this way and these two lines that one and this one are for your payments one is for when you win and one is for when you lose um, just so it shunts the diamonds into different directions um, yeah put, put a line of block above those line of blocks above those and then into uh, those hoppers on the back we'll have hoppers there and then we'll have hoppers above those ones and what we're what we want to do is build these up five hoppers tall so i'm going to put myself two more blocks coming up like that so I can put these hoppers facing the back. So that you get that. Okay. Now the top blocks in these cases we'll take out and replace with some redstone dust. Just like that. Good. So that is the first part done. Now the next part that we can do is our betting payment in. Um, and what we're using are trapped chests. So let's go ahead and put trapped chests at the top of all of these. And uh, we need to set up a, sort, a bit of a sorting system on these first hoppers under the chest so that they only take in diamonds. And so what we want is we come down to this one and put block coming across, block, block, block. Have comparators 
so that we get readings off of those top hoppers. And then we'll add two more blocks coming out with redstone dust on top of them. Like that. And then we will come down with some glass, kind of down and over. And then we'll get some repeaters and put the repeaters on the glass. And those will fire into blocks there. And actually, we want to come down three and just take out the middle block like that, since we're doing this. So the repeaters, they'll fire into the top blocks and send that signal down to here. And then what we want to do is kind of that kind of a thing. And then we can take out the middle and put one more block there in that spot. Repeat that on these other ones. Okay, then get yourself some dust and put dust there, dust there, and a redstone torch here so that this torch and block will lock these two hoppers. And repeat that on these other spots. Okay, now, um, we need to work in a bit of a lock kind of situation, and we'll do that by pulling these blocks here out with the sticky piston. So come out one, two, three blocks, take out those two, and put a sticky piston there. So when that extends and retracts, it will be able to move this, and we can lock and basically determine when uh, to send the items through our, our sorter system. So again, that's one, two, three. Take out the middle twos. And put a sticky piston. Okay, uh, now is a good time to put in the items into our top, our top, hop, top hoppers. So take stackable items and Put 21 in, so you're going to have 3 in this spot, and what will be 18 in that spot, and then 1 diamond. And then do that for all of these. There we go. Good. Good, good. And while we're at it, to finish off this bit here, um, off the end of each of these lines, we are going to bring up a torch tower. Like that.
and fill in these spots so that we have a line coming across and actually run some redstone across to all of those. Good. And so now we will be working on the water streams that will be moving our fox around. So grab yourself some magenta glazed terracotta and this will go right behind the chests so that we have our arrows pointing to the back and then whatever block you will be making your uh, board out of and basically your machine go ahead and grab that uh, and I'm using just cut sandstone so put that between the terracotta uh, on this side uh, you will want to alternate between a tripwire hook that's on the terracotta and glass now I'm using light gray stained glass just because in this texture pack I think it looks the best it's easy, the easiest to see through um, and then we are building that out and around there on that end and out and around here on this end with our solid blocks below each uh, tripwire hook we will be putting two blocks like this a stair beneath those an upside down stair and then another block below the stair so you have two blocks a stair and a block here so we will fill these in like this like that and then on each side of the stairs here we will build these up creating a kind of a wall like this just like that and then these will bring out a couple more blocks like that these will bring out a couple more blocks and what will happen is we'll take our water and we'll actually waterlog these stairs and these will become our water channels um, and we're kind of just making it so the water doesn't spill out all over the place. Um, let's build these up higher. There we go. Uh, grab yourself some trapped doors. And on this back wall, what we want is the bottom of this top block put a trapdoor on each of these in that position and we can add string to our tripwire hooks like that these outside walls we can actually build up one more higher in front of the glass, we can do a slime block, slime block, slime block, and then block there, and then block, 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 block. Okay, so now back here off of this, we'll come out with a temporary block, have an observer facing in that direction so that we can put our other tripwire hook on its face and it should connect there just like that uh, take out that block and we'll do that with these other ones an observer an observer observer tripwire hook tripwire hook tripwire hook below the tripwire hooks basically in line with our other trapdoor on this other block There we go. We'll put our other trap door so that when we activate it, they'll both activate. Wah. Like that. Like that. And like. Not there. And like that. Alright. Cool. Good.
Now, above all of these tripwire hooks, we're going to run a line of blocks. And this basically begins our back wall that our fox will be bouncing down. And now what we can do, take our observers again, and on this side, put an observer looking at that observer, come to the back, have that one look at that, come underneath and run a line of observers down until you are in line with our repeaters, and then come out and back in. So that when the fox trips this trip wire, it will trip our T flip flop and signal which is the winning line and do that with all of these. So observers looking into the side of those observers, observers looking at those and then bring them down. And then, oh, nope. There we go. And there we go. Like that. Good, good. Let us fill in this gap with blocks. Put a block under our observer there. There we go. And then off, off of here, off of that, put a fence wall, not a fence, but a wall, a wall, a wall, a wall, and then soul sand, and then soul sand can come over and up. So the soul sand is here on the observer in comparison to where that wall is. We're coming over and up, over and up, over and up. Grab yourself a sign and the sign you will put in that spot on the wall. So from where your soul sand is, you're basically up a block and back in there. That's good. Now, it should all be enclosed, so take your water bucket and reach in onto that stair and waterlog the stair and make sure that it does not leak. It's not leaking. Good. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, switch back to your buildable block and um, what we need to do is create a bit of a pocket here behind the soul sand. So we will run just a line across and around there. And then right where our soul sands are, we are going to go two blocks here like this. like that. And then what I like to do, just so I can see inside our water column, is use glass, but put glass, again, we're in line with our soul sand, but put glass on the outside, and then we can break this middle block here. Nice. And then build up on all of these columns to there. And then 
even this over here, you'll have to fill this in. And let's build this up as well. And then come across. Like that. Build up our glass, but to do the glass, we are going to come up two, and then we are going to come in on that spot. That way the water still can flow through this um, this one block gap here and down into the spot. So come up to and then go in. Come up to, go in, come up to, go in. And then this we can build up. Like that. Yeah, let's put some sandstone over those observers. Just like that. And we'll hold off on the rest of that until we get the rest of our board built up because it goes up quite a ways. Well, basically all, the, all this needs now is the water for the bubble columns. All right, so these observers are one line that is triggering our XOR gate. And this gets triggered by you choosing which line you think the fox is going to fall into. Um, and our way of resetting this is by having an observer look up here at these bits of redstone dust that uh, will drain out when your payment drains out. So what we are going to do is we're going to have observers looking at that dust, an observer looking at that one. We'll come down and under and bring these on down until they are just in line with that bit of redstone dust there. And then we're going to bring them on to the back until they are in line with that. And then put a redstone torch on it. Um, we are going to grab a temporary block, put here with the dropper facing up, like that. Put a temporary block there so that we can have two hoppers facing in that direction. Have one hopper facing back into the dropper. Put a regular block above that torch. So now the torch is going to lock this hopper and inside the dropper, we will put one item, just like that. And then what we want is come down into the ground here. Temporary block there so that we can have an observer facing up right at ground level. On top of the observer, we'll put a comparator, which will take a reading when that item comes around and through that hopper. An observer looking at that one, an observer looking at that one. Uh, we will run a line of redstone dust down all of these. And then here we have a repeater on a two tick delay and a repeater just on regular one tick delay. And while we are at it, just like we did with these other hoppers, let's go ahead and put blocks above these hoppers just so items don't fall in it. And we will repeat this with these other three lines. So first, an observer looking at that. Observers looking at these. Bring them on down. Bring it to the back. Torch on it. Have a dropper facing up. Bring up some temporary blocks. 
have a hopper facing there, a hopper facing there. Uh, we can put that item in the dropper. Put some temporary block or put some blocks to cover over the hoppers. Come around to the outside. Get rid of all of those. Come down. Uh, put a hopper there. Come down to the ground. And right here we can have an observer looking up. With a comparator on it. Observer. Observer. Repeater, two tick delay. Repeater, one tick delay. All right, I'll do the other two, finish up these other two, and I will be right back with you. Last thing I need to make sure that I do is put these blocks over the redstone torches. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, now let's get the backboard built. Swing around all the way to this side. And starting above uh, the water channels, we're going to be here and we're going to come seven across one two three four five six seven which should be this one and the backboard is actually a seven by seven square so we'll come up seven one two three four five six seven and fill in this area Just like that. Grab yourself some slime blocks. Now, from here, what we want to do is come up and over. So basically come up over two, or come up two and over one, and alternate like this. And then again, come up two and over one. Up two, over one. So that you have that pattern like that. Bring your regular blocks up on each side and then fill in the front with your light gray glass so that the foxes can't escape. All right, good. And so the trap doors will be above our slime blocks. What we want to do is kind of do this sort of thing so that we can put our trap doors right there at the bottom of those blocks. Like that. And then we can get our glass build up in front again one more layer do glass over the trap doors like that and then go ahead and where the solid blocks are on each side of the trap door take out the glass and that way we can run our redstone dust up and over everything you don't need it there right there like that Cool, good. Um, get yourself some glowstone, and you can put glowstone here.
And then in between, we will put some note blocks, but we'll get to that here in a minute. On the back side, swinging around to the back side, we will bring uh, this out. We will bring our water column bits up. Uh, not that one. Like this. And then just bring these up, 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 up. Bring the back up. And actually, in between, so you don't get mobs spawning. And if you don't want to fill this up with blocks, just put some glowstone on each side of these. But for sure, you want to bring this up so that you encapsulate your water columns. Just bring these up, 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 up. Like that. Bring these up. Bring these up. Bring these up, like all of that. Grab your glass again, bring your glass up. Oop, come on, grab the glass, there you go, there you go. Like all of that, uh, bring this glass back a couple more. Bring this glass back a couple more. Yes, there we go. Now get your water, water buckets, and you can now fill up your water column. Yeah, there we go. Up to, up to there. And then one more piece of glass. Good. Okay, we'll come on down and into here. And off of this piston, temporarily, we'll come out two. And then over one, two, and three. And then we'll have some droppers, six droppers, facing upwards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then on top of that, we'll have a shulker box. The shulker box should be in line with our chests. Okay, we can come and take those out. Now, this bottom line of hoppers is the line that the, that the diamonds use when you lose, and they will actually get stored in this bottom dropper. So we will connect up there like that. And we also want to actually bring the winning line down here as well. So temporarily, we can add two blocks there so that we can face two hoppers into those, like that. And then come over twice, like that, and connect it there. And that's the winning line. Now what we want to do is we want to get a comparator reading off of this corner hopper. So we'll come down and over put a comparator on it like that and this is going to fire up into a block and then down in here so you make a plus sign and take take the middle out so we'll have dust there and dust there um, down here we'll come down and over and then over and up take the corners out right here we'll have a repeater and then on this block, a redstone torch. Uh, this is going to 
obviously lock this hopper and when we get this bit in so come over and up and over put a repeater here grab an observer looking up with smudge stone dust on top of it what this is going to do is it's going to slow the items coming through this hopper so that we can we can get an accurate count on them um, it's going to blink on and off and this observer is going to see both on and off blinks and so when it fires down into this redstone dust uh, we will actually be doubling our output from whatever is going through that hopper so bring this line over to here get past this block and what that repeater is doing let's put another repeater there dust and dust and then a block right next to that dropper and we'll we will do a torch tower coming up a silent torch tower And then this top one, just put the redstone torch right on top of the block. Now, before we test this, down here in the bottom, put a bunch of diamonds, because that's where the pool is drawing from. And then in this system, for some reason, up here in the third dropper, it wants one diamond. So let's go ahead and put one diamond there now. And then we can test the system over here put like five in one two three four five and it should have given us oh it didn't don't forget this repeater right here important three tick delay three tick delay okay let's try this again one two three four five That's a little better looking. And there's our 10. Good, good, good. Now, like I did before with these other lines covering over the hoppers, you might want to just go ahead and cover these hoppers over as well. Just to kind of keep things from falling in accidentally. Okay, so we are getting really close to the end. Let us uh, build out this floor a little bit. Just kind of bring this across, whatever your flooring blocks are. Fill this all in. Like that. And then over here, above this torch, we will put a block there. Uh, down here, off of this wall, we'll do two more torches on each side of it. On one side, put a block of gold. On the other side, put some packed ice, like that. Put some note blocks above them and hit each one 10 times. Like that. Um, put a block there, a block there, and then a redstone torch under there and there and then come on in on this side and put a redstone lamp there and there fill in the hole with your um, flooring block build that out like that there we go and so this obviously is where your payments are coming and you'll get a nice a light and noise sound when you win. Uh, let's go ahead while we have it, get your gold blocks. Put three glow gold blocks between the glowstone blocks with some note blocks above on top of them. And then fill in with your building blocks. Like that. Um, now I have kind of changed this design since 
starting this video. So what we kind of want to do now is move this redstone from here. Uh, you still need it down there, but what we can do is put it back here. Bring redstone dust across like this. So it connects down there. And so for our start button, what we want to do first is build up a wall on each side. Uh, it's going to be three blocks by six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Just kind of build this up. Same thing over here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, right here, add two extra blocks just to finish up the framing. So that is beautiful. Looks very nice. Uh, our start button will be over here in the middle, three blocks up. Just right there. So when we come around, we'll put a block here. So we can put a repeater there. And that is going to fire up into a block with some redstone dust over here. And then another block there. On top of this block, we'll have a sticky piston with a bit of redstone dust. We'll skip a spot. We'll have another sticky piston sticking up with some redstone dust. And then we can bring redstone dust here, here, and here. So now, hopefully, when we hit this button, we get the note and the trap doors open. Okay, ooh, good. Now what we have to do is get our dear old fox up here into the game. Hey, that was easy. <laughs> uh, so our fox, a note about our, our fox is that foxes have a tendency to sleep at night. Uh, one way to keep them from sleeping is add polar bears because foxes will actively avoid polar bears and as far as I can tell they won't sleep at night if there's a polar bear around. Um, so to put the polar bears in what we want to do is put in some openings under that slime block there in the wall and under this slime block here in the wall on both sides and then we will have four pens with four polar bears. All right, so if we come around our wall here and take out that block, and then let's actually fill up this space here like that. Put a block here and there and bring out, this is actually our floor level here. Bring the wall out here a little bit more here and up because all we need is a four by a two by two space for the polar bear um, grab some trap doors and put some trap doors on this back wall just to kind of keep the polar bear over here in front of the opening build this up one more so you have a two by two floor and then a too tall space is what you're going to wind up having. So put a polar bear in there and cover him over. Just like that. And you can see him, see him in there. And do that with this bottom one. So our polar bear, the opening is right below this bear's floor. Actually, that's the um, block our, our repeater is on, but uh, come out there, come out here, come out and up, add trap doors on the back wall, 
put in a polar bear and close them in. Just like that. And do that over here on this side. Take that out. Build that wall up to there. Down here is our floor. This is our back wall. Trap doors on it. The back wall. Like that. Build this up. Put in our polar bear. And cover him over. I believe that's the spot right there. Yes, it is. Now, even though foxes actively avoid polar bears, I have seen the foxes, if they get the opportunity, try to jump in the cages with the polar bears. So that's a big reason why we're putting these holes below the slime blocks, to make it harder for the fox to do that. Um, build up the wall here, put in our polar bear. Oh, baby! What are you doing? Stay with Mama. And then cover him over. <laughs> Ah, uh, generally you you want you want uh, adults. Okay, before we finish, I'm going to work with a couple more fail-safe um, features into here. Uh, one of which we are going to come off of this line here, out to about here. We are going to run some blocks, not there down here, back this way, connecting into that. Come over one more, so we're in line with that gold block. Um, to get past, we're, we're gonna bring this line of dust around, but to get past all of these powered items, we're going to put in repeaters through here. Um, put our redstone dust on, like this come up with a block and over with a block and then up with a block over on this one put a repeater right there uh, and then go ahead in this corner block we'll take this corner block out get yourself a note block and place there and then come right on down Put a pumpkin under that note block. Uh, in this spot, on this yellow block, put a redstone torch. Come on out to the outside. That redstone torch is powering this block here. Right here in the middle at the bottom, take out one and two blocks. Put a redstone torch here. And then on top of the torch, place a redstone lamp. Perfect. So when the redstone lamp is on, it will tell you not to play the game. Uh, let's put a sign. There we go. Release the box only if this light is off. So the light is indicating that these are extended, which means you can't play the game really. Uh, so we need an emergency reset button. Uh, this happened because the fox fell through without there being any bets in there. Uh, so for our reset button, we will go and bring this wall up here like this. And actually, let's bring this out and across, cover that over. On this second block up, put a button. Right there. Back behind here, do redstone dust and dust. Grab an observer. And right here in this corner, 
have an, have an observer looking up with some redstone dust on top of it. Uh, basically bring this down once, twice, and you can snake this line back into here. As long as everything is... There we go. Looking at each other. Bring this down, 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 down. And come all the way to the ground level. Like this. And then come over and have that connect so that it fires into this line there. And let's give this a little test. Pistons, yep, retracted and the light turned off. So now we should be good to play. And we can leave ourselves a little sign over here. Emergency reset. There we go. So an issue you may encounter with your machine is you've had somebody or you yourself have just kind of wanted to see what the fox will do. So without putting a payment in, you release the fox. And the fox does its thing. And comes on down. and triggers it and then nothing happens and this doesn't clear and if you put money in now and try to bat it will actually kind of mess the system up so that is why we put in our emergency reset what's happened is the fox uh, has extended these pistons so go ahead and hit the reset button and that resets those and actually what just happened here brings me to another point with the fox dancing in the trip wire trip wire line um, what can happen especially if the player makes a small bat the diamonds can be processed while that fox is still kind of trying to get through that trap door and so what he actually winds up doing is re-triggering the circuit just as if he had fallen from the top again. Um, and so this light would come on or stay on. And so again, all you would really need to do is hit the reset button to clear it. So I really hope you guys like this game. If you do, hit that like button. If you like some of my other stuff and haven't yet, think about subscribing. If you have any questions or issues with this, uh, leave me a comment below and I will answer them as best I can. And until next time, as always, have fun and see ya.